Hey guys, today's cook, pork spray ribs. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna season them up with some sucker busters, hot water, pork and rib rub. I'm gonna put a light layer of that, come back with another layer of this sucker busters bam, a little cayenne heat. Towards the end of the cook, we're gonna come back and finalize it with some sugar that sweet, balance out that heat. It's gonna be good. Got the old country Brazo smoker fired up. It's about 250 now, running BB charcoal. Gonna top it off with some mesquite chunks. Maybe some oak chunks in between as we go. It's going to be fun. As always, stick around. Alright, as you can see, I've removed the membrane. I did a little bit of trimming, but not much. I kind of like that fat on there. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. I don't use binders, you guys that know me. So just gonna hit this with this hog water. Light layer, nothing much. Especially on this back side, but there's a lot of meat over here. This side here. So hit that kind of like that. Come back with a little bit of this BAM. It's good stuff, but you gotta be careful with it because it will bite you. It will bite you. All right. Gonna let this sit for a few minutes, gonna flip it over. All right, we flip them over. Come back again with the hog waller. Kind of hit it a little high. Get that dusting on there. I'm gonna sweat out a little bit. Come over here and do these sides best you can. You all know the routine, right? Oh yeah, it's just fun watching me do it, I know. I know. Come back and hit this other side. Like so. All right, that's about all I'm gonna hit there. A little more. All right, gonna let this sweat in just a few minutes before I come back with a bam on this side. All right, stick around. All right, guys. So you can see it's been sitting about five minutes, not that long, and it's already sweating out, sweating in, if you will. Gonna come back now with the BAM. And again, light layer. Just put that cayenne heat on that rib. That sweet daddy's gonna balance that out. Come back with another light layer of the hot water. Just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna let that sweat in for about five more minutes, and then we're gonna get them on that smoke. All right, guys, you can see fire is a little, about 260, which is cool, because I wanna keep it around 270. Keep the ribs on there. As you can see here, they are sweated nicely, got a good color to them. Look good. Gonna put them on like so. Now, you've probably seen this trick where you squish your ribs together a little bit, especially if you were doing comp cooking, because that's the way they would come out. They'd finish cooking, squish like this. Not doing comp cooking, of course, but I am. Uh, I am trying to uh, just make it look good, you know. All right, all right. Get these gloves off, get her shut down. Throw another piece of mesquite in there, and let's get her going. All right, we're at our two hour window. A little under 250, that's all right. I'll try to keep it above that, so we're looking good. Also gonna wrap it around the two hour window, but I'm well, a little darker color than that. It's starting to look a little dry, not too bad. Get a little squirt, squirt. Yeah, I need a little darker bark before I wrap it up. Other than that, it's looking good. It's looking good. All right. All right, guys, we're at our two and a half hour mark. You can see I did dust these with a little more hog water, as you see there. I'm gonna spray it on here. 
Now the difference between me and a lot of other guys out there that cook ribs, they'll put um, butter in here, you put honey, agave. Uh, I don't do that. I just prefer the natural taste of the pork, natural taste of the beef, other than the rub that's already applied. So I'll just add a little bit of water just to help kind of steam it a little bit, but not too much, you know? Uh, you're cooking barbecue, you're cooking pork, all right? You're not gonna make all this fancy jellies and this and that, or whatever, you know? Competition cooking, I guess, that's expected is one by barbecue, but back here, backyard, for me personally, just the way I like it, do I really like it. A little bit more water in there, put that over. Seal it tight, okay? Again, it's been uh, two and a half hours. I just finally got the color I like. I'm gonna put this back on the smoker for one more hour, take it out, and then probably do it another half an hour. That'll be it. All right, let's get this on. All right, so I just took the rack out of the foil. It's got good color on it. I am just gonna moisten it just a little bit. And then we're gonna sprinkle it with this sugar daddy right here. Sweetest rub in Texas. Just a light little dusting for a little sweet. Remember we put that cayenne on there. That's gonna give it a lot of bite. So one of the sweetness on there to offset that. Again, I'm doing a dry rub. Not gonna do any sauce. Let's see how it turns out. Give it another 30 minutes. All right, guys, these ribs are done. As you can see, dry rub only. Came out pretty good. I'm not uh, disappointed at all. Look a little tender here. And get them along that bone there. There we go. They're very tender. Don't wanna destroy them too bad. Not too bad right there, there we go. Gonna fall that bone. I'm gonna use an electric knife, but didn't feel like it today. Super tender, looking good. There we go, that's a good cut. Another good cut right there. I think that bone just slip out. A little over, I guess. Not bad. Maybe a little overdone for a four hour cook. Actually, yeah, four hour cook, not too bad. All right, uh, let's give these a little taste. All right, hey guys, these ribs uh, look super tender. Got a small little sampler here, good crust. Very tender. No doubt. That Suckle Buster's hog water can be beat. Got that right amount of cayenne and that bam. And that sugar daddy puts that little sweetness on there. You know, let's uh, get one of these a taste here. You can see that good color on there. Got a good little smoke ring. So you're picking that up. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's good, that's dang good. Four hour cook, can't go wrong. Two hours, around 260, 270. Wrapped it in foil for an hour, took it out for half an hour. And I'll tell you what, yeah. Mm. Good stuff, another home run. Ready to do some more. <laughs> yeah, that cayenne's got a little, that bam's got a little heat to it. But it also sets it with that sweet from that sugar daddy. Guys, I appreciate you as always. Come back, next video. Don't know what I'm doing yet, but uh, God, I never know what I'm gonna do from one to the next. But stick around, it's gonna be good. Appreciate you coming back. Catch you in the next one.